name is Steve Hughes, and welcome back to my channel, where we discuss all things financial services related. Had a great couple of conversations with some people today on the phone regarding this industry and considering the various types of IMOs out there, and just get me to thinking about some of the things. I was actually jotting some notes down for our team call tonight, and got me to, you know to identify really some things I think that uh, are really necessary for your success in mortgage session or final expense in our niche basically you know i talk about mortgage session and final expense final expense and mortgage session really i consider them to be one of the same um you know again mortgage section tends to be a term policy final expense tends to be a whole life policy really they're not products they're more solutions and our job is to sit down with a client and determine which one of those solutions best fits their needs that they qualify for and a lot of our, even our own agents get into that is that, oh, they want this or they want that or they really wanted this, you know, this and that and full coverage versus partial coverage. That's great. And, you know, our job is to go out and have that conversation with them. Sometimes a difficult conversation with them in terms of, I understand that's what you want, but here's what you qualify for. And that's where we come in as field underwriters or as agents. But the number one thing that I, I really want to identify today is, you know, uh, what does it take to win in this business on a um, regular basis, right? Uh, and I think aside from being consistent in your activity, you know, this business is all about lead flow and activity, right? Um, you know, I, we often say jokingly around here is that, you know, anything can be fixed in our industry uh, or, excuse me, anything can be fixed in our lives with lead flow and activity. It's that inactivity that, uh, that kills most people in this business. You've got to be willing to go out there and get some leads, you got to be willing to buy quality leads. I believe that's, a, that's the best chance that you and I have uh, at success. I get it all the time. I can get free leads here, or I can go over here and get, you know, they'll give me free leads here, or I can go do my own online advertising. And all those are true. Um, however, you know, what is, where, where is your, your time best spent? If you're a true, um, I hate to use the word salesperson. Let's just use the word educator. If you're a true educator and you love and have a passion for this business, uh, your job is better spent in front of the client, kneecap and kneecap, telesales, face-to-face. -face. I prefer face-to-face. -face. Uh, again, this is a relationship business. It always will be a relationship business. If you go the telesales route, that's great, but don't have a big uh, expectation on your, on your residual income because it'll be far less in telesales than it is to face to face. It's very difficult to create any loyalty uh, or any relationship via the, the, the computer, right? So just understand that's how I kind of feel about it. You can agree or disagree. But at the end of the day, uh, it's, a, it's a relationship business, right? So, uh, but in order to scale your income, uh, you, you know, and we want to be face to face with a client. So yeah, you could do all that online stuff. I mean, I can do a Facebook account, and you could do a Facebook account. You could do a LinkedIn or all that kind of stuff to generate some leads that may not cost any money. Okay, Craigslist, although Craigslist is now charging a lot of areas. Um, but at the end of the day, what I see, what I find the top producers. When I say top producers, I'm talking about people making you know two, three, four, five, six, even seven hundred thousand dollars. They're not doing any of that. They understand that. You know, more leads equals more contacts, okay? Potential contacts. Again, that's why you need to have more than four or five leads. You got a stack of leads, right? The more of those leads you have, the more chances you're gonna have to get people on the phone. The more, more people get on the phone, the more appointments you're gonna have a chance to set. The more appointments that you set, the more opportunities, opportunities, not guarantees, that you're gonna have to sit with people. The more sits you have with people, the more apps that you're going to write, right? So the way we scale our income is once we learn the basics of this business, as long as you have a coach or mentor uh, that, that will help you to choose the products, will be there for you to, to help in the home, not go with you, but be, that you can call them from the house, that's the big difference between what everybody wants to talk about. What's the best IMO, okay? What you really, it come, you need to be looking for the best IMO. And that IMO should not require you to recruit in order for you to get to advance, okay? That's the MLM model, which I don't agree with. And I think I've made it very clear on these videos. But as long as you've got somebody that will work with you on product selection, allow you to call from the home, your number one skill set is converting a lead into an appointment. That's paramount over product knowledge or anything else, right? So as long as you, you know, can get those things, those, those you know, product, uh, phone skills, 
product knowledge with the help of somebody else, being able to do an in-home presentation and call somebody. The way you and I control our income is, we already mentioned, is lead flow and activity, right? But again, scaling your, your income by the number of leads that you're working is, is clearly the, way, the, the, the easier path or the, mo- the most sustainable path. Yes, you know, again, just like we, we get all the time, well, you know, when, when people are going out there and talking about guaranteed issue products, okay, where, I'm sorry, not guaranteed issue, but graded products, and the common objection in graded products is, well, I could just put $100 a month away in my savings account. Why do I need to wait two years for this even to kick in? And I have no coverage until I live beyond the two years, and you can only give me 5000 Well, it's simple, Jack and Jill. You could put your money in a savings account. You could die tomorrow, and your wife will get 100 bucks. okay? And that's very much true the same with, with a graded product, except for uh, that's what the graded products are designed. It gives you a forced savings account plus 10%, better than you get the local bank. So... Anyway, I don't know how I get off on the graded tangent. I do, I do know why, because it's coming up in a lot in the conversations I've had with the various agents. But aside from all of that, we, we understand that it's about lead flow and activity. We understand that you know we can do our own marketing, but really it's probably not in our best interest in terms of time. We want to spend the mo- most time either face-to-face presenting on a telesale or in the home face-to-face, kneecap, kneecap, over the kitchen table. How do we do that effectively? And here's the fact. And of course, you can buy all kinds of different type of leads, but then again, it comes down to the fresher the lead is, most high producers want to work the freshest lead. Why? Not because they want to spend more money than you and I do, right? They could, they could buy 50 cent leads. Or they could get free leads too. Or they could get a dollar lead, whatever. But they're going to be on the phone a lot. They, buy, they want the freshest leads. They want to buy the freshest leads because of efficiency, in other words, it's all about getting the 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 the, uh, the just day to day grind work out of the way, so I can get to closing. Right, always be closing face to face, Zoom or face to face. Right, and the most efficient way of doing that is tracking the conversion rate, which no one wants to talk about in this industry, on the leads. Well, the best conversion rate is going to be the fresher lead. That's why top producers. Just cut to the chase. I want the freshest lead because I know I can sit down for an hour to an hour and a half, one time a week, not every day, one time a week, and be able to book 15 to 17 different appointments for my week. And that's the goal for $250,000 a year income. 15, 17 appointments. Go watch my video right here, uh, 1063 uh, video that I have out there. Go watch that one, and uh, that should help you out. But Get back to what it, what does it take to win? Pers- you know, you got to be persistent. Okay, lead flow and activity, you got to have that. Persistency and consistency, number one. You got to be persistent, right? You got to be relentless. Okay, you can't just call a lead once and then want to throw it away. You got to be relentless. You got to you got to call this lead. Look, I was writing down here earlier. Eighty percent of the sales are made between the fifth and the twelfth contact. Eighty percent. I got people that call me on the phone and say, well, after three, after three, dial, three times of contact in the same lead, I throw the lead away. Okay, well, that's just crazy. It makes no sense. If 80% of the sales are made between the fifth and the twelfth contact, you just threw away a good lead after calling it three times? What do you care how many times you call the lead? Put it back in your stack. Don't make any notes on it because you don't want to put negative stuff down. Oh, this guy was a jerk. What's your chance to call the guy back if you put down there, he swore at you? Or he said never call. You're not going to call back. You might put it back in your stack, but you're going to go right by it. So don't put any negative stuff on that lead sheet. Right, but put it back in your stack. You never know. We've, there are many times we've called a lead for six months, nine months, whatever, and booked an appointment. Right? Six calls equals a ninety percent chance of of contact. Six. Okay. Try calling at different times. Try calling, calling using a different number. Try double tapping. What we call double dialing. Try triple dialing. You know, vary up what you're doing, the times, the number of times you call, the number that you're using. Be c- persistent. And number two, be relentless, right? Have a high degree of work ethic. This is your business. No one can tell you when to get up. No one can tell you when to, not, when, when to take a sick day off. It's your business, okay? You make those decisions. But you got to come here with a higher degree of of work ethic than you would have at the job. I mean, look, we got millions of people now, so nearing 30 million people that are currently out of work right now. Okay, so there is no security in job security, right? So 
come to this opportunity, not job, but this opportunity with a higher degree of, of work ethic that you would have the job. Because this is about you. You're build, this is your dream that you're building, not the boss's dream. So you should come here with, with, with not wanting to call in sick, with not needing a day off, because you're passionate about going out there and protecting those families. It's, 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 what you, it's who you are. It's what you do. You know, you shouldn't regret it. If, look, if you regret going out and talking to a client on, about life insurance, you should get out of the business right now. Seriously. Because this is a choice. It's not a job. It's an opportunity. But you've got to be passionate about it. you gotta be, you got to have your heart into it. If you don't, you're wasting your time. So that's number three. Will it be willing to work? The number four thing is be coachable. I talk to a lot of people that tell me that they're coachable. When one weekend, they're qu- they want to know, why, why would I do that? Why would I do- well, you know, I know that's, that's for somebody else. No. If, you go, if you're working with a coach or mentor that has years of experience, that's putting their name on applications and sales, that's proven success, not talking to you about success, not reading out of their, out of their manual, you know, what, what, the, what, the, what, the, what the recruiting manual says is, is, is success, but they actually have proven success and a proven assistance you can plug into, that is a mentor and coach, right, that you should be listening to, right? So you got to be coachable. And, and, you know, and let them do your thinking for you for, for, for a, a, a period of time until you're successful. Put your own thinking cap off. Take it off. Throw it away. And, and, and let them call the shots for, uh, you know, until, until you start depositing checks in your bank account, right? And the last thing is, is have a huge desire for success. And, you know, you must... Su- Sometimes when I say desire, you have to have a huge desire to succeed. You know, a lot of you have a desire to succeed. They want to succeed, right? They're hoping they'll succeed. You know, they're smoking hopium, right? Hope was never a good business plan. So when I say you have to have, have a huge desire to succeed, what I really mean is you got you, you got it has to be it has to be you has to be like like breathing air. Okay, you don't you don't want to succeed, right? You don't you don't have a desire to succeed. You must succeed. If you don't succeed, your marriage is, will, is, will, will be broken, or they're going to take the car, they're going to take the house, or you're going to be on the street living on a park bench. That's, you know, or, or vision this. They're, you know, the guy is holding your, your, your head under the water, and, and you've and, and you, and you got to breathe, or you're going to drown, right? That's the kind of desire you have to succeed, not in this business only, but in every business. So we're in review. You got to leave flowing activities a side note. That's a given. You got to be persistent and consistent. You got to be relentless in this business. You got to be wake up every day going, getting after it. Every day. Okay? You can take a day off. I take a day off, right? But you, 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 when you're, even, when you're, even when you're taking the day off, you should be thinking about how to succeed. How can I do it better? You had to be, it has to consume you in order for you to have a chance. You can't put your toe in this business and expect to. To, to, uh, to see results, right? You can't do the minimum amount of activity and want the maximum results. You're going to have to make a deposit in the bank in order to make a withdrawal. It takes time. If you, if you want to show up and get paid for doing nothing, you better stick with the job, okay? So the next thing is be, you got to be willing to work. Work, okay? You got to show up. You got to work. You got to put the time in. Right, I saw a show earlier, and they said the little girl was being interviewed. She says, "I'm my best, my my best lottery ticket, because I know that one. You know, at the end of the day, when no one else will, I'll show up, and I'll get the job done. So I can, I'm, I, I'm the person that I can depend on. I am my best lottery ticket. Great, great statement. Be coachable, number four, and again, not just have a desire to, to succeed, but you've got to succeed." You've got to succeed. It's not an option. Failure must be an option, but quitting can never be an option. Hey, do me a favor. If you like these videos, give me a thumbs up. YouTube is hammering us, saying, man, the thumbs up. If you're not getting people to like in your video, even the thumbs down, but the thumbs up is better. It's called engagement, and that's how they're sharing these videos out. The suggested videos that you see when you log into YouTube, it's over on that right column there. That's, they show those based on your interest level and engagement. So give me that big thumbs up. Make me a comment. You can always reach out and call me on, on the phone, send me a text, or shoot me an email. I look forward to talking to you. Bye-bye.